now I'm going to be recording the construction of these waves. I have done it before here, but something was off as in the distance between here. What I did was to offset 21 from the center line here and 21 from the center line here. When that was incorrect, all you needed to do was to offset 21 for the entire thing. So half of 21 is 10.5 here, 10.5 there. Notice it's wide here, so it loses its its original shape. So we'll do that again. So we'll start with the center line. This is a symmetrical object, which means symmetrical object, which means that the same things as are on one side is mirrored on the other side. Right? So we'll look at that. So it has a center line, means it's symmetrical. So we'll start with the center line as usual. We'll start with our center line. Turn on ortho to get straight lines. Start at the center here in the middle. It says here that the center for these side curves starts at 21 to so 10 and a half on both sides. So offset 10.5, enter. Offset on both sides, 0.5. It's going to be shorter. Stretch them all the way down here. Grip points and pull them into place. Right there. From there, we can describe our radius, which is 37. To get the circle, so offset, not offset, circle, radius, circle, and 37. 37, enter. Boom. Set a circle, you can copy it on the other side or draw it again. Boom. So these are these because these are actually circles that are going around, but you know, they are part of a circle, so arches. So there we have those two, then we can offset 50 down and 20. So from the center line here, offset 50 down, 79 upwards. So offset 50, enter, it's down. Offset 79, enter, that's up, then offset 20 down. Offset 20, enter, down. Good. So that's the base right here, this is the top. No, so this is 79, and in here we offset 25 on both sides to get the center of these small circles. So offset from here, 25. So always use the center lines. Notice we're working with our center lines. So I've set 25 there, 25 there. So that is the center of these are eight circles. So radius eight circles. We draw them. Eight, enter. You can either copy it or draw the next one. Doesn't matter copy. C O for copy, shortcut. And you can draw the top line. Which is that, that, and that's done. So your top is there, right? So what you need now is, is 25 here, so and this 37 here. So from this center, as we have learned before, we just add the radiuses to get these points here. So this 25 plus this 37 gives us this point. This 8 plus this 25 gives us this point. So that's what we're going to do now. So from here, so 8 plus 25 is 33. So we're going to draw an arc, center, start, end. 33 from this point. So 33, enter. From this point, right? And then from this center, now it's 37 plus 25. What is 37 plus 25? Clear. 37 plus 25 is equal to 62. So sir, radius, center, start, in 62. Sixty two. Enter. You draw that curve there. So there is the intersection, this intersection. So you draw your circle. That is 25 and it should touch both of them. Let's see. So the radius is 25. Radius 25. Type 25. Enter. See, touch both of them there. So we can trim this part now. TR, enter. 
punch in here, and here, punch in here, and here, and here. Alright, so we got this curve. Notice we are forming it slowly. Alright, so next time now we're coming down here. So from this point on this line, we have a 23 here. Alright, 23 here. And from that center there, let me see. So this is 23 in diameter. Touching this circle here. Alright, so from this center, we're going to add a 37 plus, so it's 37 plus 23 to get this one. And anywhere it cuts this line is where we draw from. So from this center, it's 37, which is here, from 37 plus this 23 will give us this, give us this curve. So 37 plus 23 is equal to 60, right? 30 and 20, 50, 7 and 3 is 60. So we draw a circle, that the arc that is 60, center start end, from this center, type 60, enter, boom, and it cuts it there. So this point would be this point right there. So let's see if it works. So 23 radius, radius circle, 23, 23, enter. And it works so from here we trim tr enter trim 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 and trim there you have it so we have one side formed perfectly that's all we need one side being formed perfectly then we can mirror the rest so if we have because it's symmetrical all we need is one side to be honest so we'll delete all of this, trim everything. When an object is symmetrical, you just need to draw one side and then you can mirror the next side. So here, not necessary, but here can be in the center right here, and here in the center. So here, I can brighten all of this now. TR, enter. I can brighten all of this. So match properties, MA, Enter. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can do this. Object. MA. Enter. Alright. Let, let me get the center lines now. MA. Enter. I'll do center lines. are for these small surface here. I can do this one actually. So this side is done because I have all the measurements here, right? So now I can mirror. Notice it says this object is symmetrical. One half is a mirror image of the other. Therefore measurements for only one half are given. So you draw the one half we get measurement for and now we can mirror it. So you select everything and type mirror or select mirror. So mirror is here. So you can type mirror, M-I-R-R, -R. click mirror, select the center point, whether on the center here or on the center here, whichever place. You select the center point or here and you mirror. And that's you. Enter. And then you can connect the base now with a object line. Turn on objects now. There you go. So you have a vase. Perfectly done. Alright. So we can call this one vase. Copy. And the base it right here. So the vase is perfectly done. You want to check the measurement, it's there. You see, all of it is good. Radius measurement is there, so let me change it to radius. 
37. Yes. Hold up, this is good. See? So I'll go over here. Alright, so that's that's it for the base. So let's see, what about it? No, we have the camp left.